All right, number one, fairly long one. And I do want you to always practice with Guitar Pro throughout the week. And hopefully you can get this thing memorized. So when we meet up again for the final exam, you can just play with the metronome. So because we just have this one thing here, I'm going to recommend working for 15 to 20 minutes on this. So 15 to 20 minutes on this guy, I think that'll be plenty. So basically, work it up. And yeah, we'll do the, the fives thing. So yeah, we're not going to be getting crazy fast. We just want lots of good repetitions in. And after the 15 minute mark, aim to get one more good take and call it a day. So I'm going to play along with the guitar profile here. Hopefully everything comes through okay. Here we go. And I also recommend turning off the metronome and count in when you're going to follow along. Now at the really slow speed, you may just want to have your cursor starting in the second bar. So you just have the one, two, three, four. As it gets faster, if you find it helpful, start it in the first bar. Because you're going to have that one, two, one, two, three, four. And at the slow speeds, like 50, don't really need the, uh, the two extra hi-hat hits at the beginning, I don't think. But if you like it, keep it there. I'm going to start it where it's just the straight one, two, three, four, and here we go. So that was at 50. I'm going to go at. Oh, we're going to go 100 next. Whoops, cancel that. Alright, here we go. Hundred forty.
Okay. Next. More basic stuff. That's a little bit too big there. That's about our normal size. Okay. Um. Alright, so let's get this metronome on. 60 beats per minute. Coming up. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. And so I see an issue with my own technique here. As I have said many times, I am still not quite used to playing a seven string. And I notice that my right hand right now has a tendency, like part of my pinky finger is not wanting to hit that B string. And that's why I keep having freaking B string noise all the time. All right. So I need to be more careful with that. Wonder. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so I guess with the seven string, I need to have my pinky straighter. With the six string, I usually have it curled. I think I need to just keep it straighter for the seven. One, two, three, four. Problem solved. Why did it take me so long to do that? <laughs> 120, one, two, three, four. One sixty, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred, one, two, one, two, three, four. Number three. Ah, yes, that's you figuring, filling all that in, right, right? And this stuff. So you can do this with or without distortion. I think that'd be fine. So remember, when you go to the next next progression here that you fill in you will you will change strings for this for the root notes so I point that out just to make sure there's hopefully make sure there's no confusion between this new thing and the triad or the uh, inversion stuff we did the inversion stuff yes we kept everything starting on the same strings because we can with inversions with this in order to minimize I should point this way I'm pointing to the opposite side, but on the screen it looks like that. Anyway, so with this, yes, you will change strings for the root notes in order to minimize overall movement as much as you can. That involves going up and down, left and right. Try avoid skipping strings if you can. Usually string skipping, even though, like say, like you have something, oh, it's on the fifth fret here. But then we go to the fifth fret here. It's like, yeah, that's close in terms of left to right, but not so much as up and down. And if we're skipping strings, greater chance for er or error, you know, greater chance for mistakes. And we want to minimize that. Um, and then at the end, when you fill in the chords, Start on on the uh, the string listed here for the root notes, or in the bass notes in this case, too. Put in the no inversion, then the first inversion, second inversion, basic open cowboy chord. If it ends up having to be a movable bar chord shape, that's totally fine. But if you have a uh, 
an open chord possibility, use that. All right, any questions, let me know. I'll see you again next week.